Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Starsick. How have you all been? I have been great, I've been wonderful, I've been absolutely peachy as a pair. That makes sense. Since the last episode. And uh, as you can see from the fact that this still hasn't been fully filled in, I haven't been on the server since I last recorded. Uh, it's star sick. Or I suppose, tell a lie, I have been. But it was only to take a screenshot for a thumbnail. Either way, I think we should quickly fix this part up. Excuse me while I just, um, <clears throat> take this. And back we go. Anyway, enough of that. Why can I hear a zombie moving? That's concerning. Either way, with the top podium finally filled out. Let's just deal with this spider real quick, and to then we can move on to today's episode. So, as you may or may not know, in the last episode, we ended off setting up this system over here. We have the base part, the underneath part, I suppose you could say, for a system that is going to generate us near infinite amounts of liquid starlight. I mean, just from the test run, we already have nearly 15,000 millibuckets of the thing. Now, it's just a matter of getting the top part set up, which is the system that will place uh, the infinite amount of aquamarine, which I think I've actually used all of mine up, into the basin. So, in order to do that, what we're going to need first is we're going to need to figure out whether or not we need an automatic placer or an automatic interactor. If I do at cyclic, that's not how you spell cyclic. There we go. I was completely guessing there, by the way, just in case you didn't know. Um, but if we just type in at cyclic and look through the machines... Let's see, these are heat generators. Here we go. So, we need to figure out if we need a block placer or if we need a item user. And personally, while I could just exit out of the server, open up my single player world, and check the uh, version of this I've already made, just so I knew that it would be possible to actually do, instead of doing that, I'm just going to build both and then figure out for myself which one actually works. Because, I mean, we have the resources. I mean, this is just a dropper, some uh, redstone, some iron, and some cobblestone slabs, and, you know, some andesite, which we have a ton of, since it is the backbone of the create mod. And then for the item user, it looks a little more expensive, but to be completely honest, we we have everything we need for this. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the cheapest one, which is the block placer, and then I'm going to move on to the item user. So, with a click of my fingers... I am now in the computer, and all I have to do from here, if we just at cyclic once more, scroll down, click on the block placer, and click here, and we're missing things, okay. So, first thing we're missing is the dropper, which we have everything that we need to build, so we can just take this, just like that. And the second thing was a block of redstone. Now, the question is... Do we have enough redstone in the computer? Yes, we do. Okay, so we can just uh, go like that. Take that. There we go. Close that out. And then all we have to do, type back in item. And then click on item user. And no, it was not item user that we were building. It was placer. It was the block placer. So let's grab that. And then let's grab that. There we go. We've got the block placer. While we're here, I am going to build the item user. I am just saying that we're going to use the block placer first. Just to, you know, see if it works. Uh, so in this one, we're missing uh, almost half the recipe. Uh, so let's make ourselves some tripwire hooks first. There we go, two of those. Uh, can I just... Yeah, there we go. Then it was the blocks of gold, which we we don't actually have any gold um, in the computer. However, we do have a lot of iron, and I do have a philosopher's stone. So, if I just go up here, type in iron. There we go. Exit out of this bit, and then just go do-do-do-do-do, and put this up here. Then I could go do-do-do-do-do-do. Just like that. And then I can take my Philosopher's Stone back. I can retype in item. I don't know why. It, I think it's synced up. Is there a way to desync this? Standard keep. Sure, let's go with that. Ooh, and from the looks of it, I think we just ran out of iron. So if I type in gold now, we don't actually have enough for a second block. We only have enough for one. So 
Let's go check on the condensers. Where the hell did you come from? Where? Wh ha why? How? I haven't been here. You know what? I was going to take the iron blocks, but I think I might just take the nuggets. It'll be a lot quicker. There we go. That's two gold blocks. Now, I believe we do have everything that we need. Ah, uh, we're missing the dispenser. Okay, do we have what it takes to make a dispenser? No, we're missing the bow, and we can't make a bow because we're missing the string. I have two string here. Let me see if I've got any more somewhere else. Yep, I have 34 in my backpack, and that makes the bow. And now with the bow, we can make item dispenser, and we can put the dispenser in here, and then we can make the... Uh, item user. There we go. Ooh, I love being efficient. It makes me giddy with joy. Where did you come from? Why is there just a crater in the underside of my mountain? Why are there so many? What am I doing? What is happening? I don't even have any grass that I can use to fix this. Uh, well, at least I found my aquamarine. That's a, that's a good thing. Okay, so... Test number one. Let's just check. They do have an EMC value. That's good. So, let's put a brick... No, no, let's put a brick, there we go, and then, uh, no, we need to do duh, duh, and then duh, so that we can then do duh, right? I, I believe this is how it works. Right, so now if I tick delay, use left hand, no, use right hand, requires redstone, requires power, which is another obstacle we can come to, I mean, obstacle we can surpass. Um, so if I take this aquamarine and put it up here, I'm not going to say it requires redstone, but we do need some power to test it. So let us find a cheap generator that we can temporarily use. I could use the wind generator, but the last time I tried that it crashed my game. So I think I'm going to pass on that one for now. <laughs> you know what? Screw it, why not? Let's make a combustion generator. I will BRB. Okay, so after having made all of the ingredients, I can now just... And I'm missing one. What am I missing? Mason stone, which is... Mason cobblestone, which is... Regular cobblestone with gravel. And from the looks of it, we're actually missing gravel. However... If we smelt frozen gravel, we do get regular gravel. And after the quest we went on to find one piece of frozen gravel. Trust me when I say we are never, I mean never, running out of this sh 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 stuff. I nearly said a bad word then. Oopsie. And yoink. It's the final call. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. 32 gravel. Nice and lovely jubbly. There we go. That's eight pieces of masonry cobblestone. You then use that to create masonry stone, and we can then use the masonry stone to collect the combustion generator. Dear God, that was the most tedious process I have ever had the displeasure of going through. Not only was that a lie, that was probably the worst lie I have ever told. You know for a fact you have seen much worse. I don't know, I guess exaggeration's just in my DNA. I am a guy after all. Giggity. But anyway, if we just put this generator on top, we can supply direct power for now, and all we have to do is find something that we can burn. So, I think about nearly a stack of planks should do us just fine. Oh my god, that is going so quick, and this is filling up, and it's doing absolutely nothing. Okay. Now, I can't tell if that's because it's right-clicking the air, or if it's just because it's not working. Oh, that sure as hell did something. Huh. What if I lower it down, then? Alright, then, so, the only way we can see if this has worked is... 14,921. What happens if I now do this and this? Nothing? N nothing at all? Does it want power? I can give it power. Redstone power, that is. Maybe it's just feeling a little, um, shy. 
Nothing? Nothing at all. Okay, on to plan two. So, since the item user didn't work, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the item user with a block placer. So, if we just, uh, put it on like that. No. If we just put it on like this. There we go. Then all we have to do is throw this up here and give this some more... Pa Where are you? I can hear you. Where are you? There you are, you son of a... <clears throat> As I was saying, this thing doesn't require power, or at least it's not accepting power, and this isn't transferring power. We can try it one more time. We can give it another stack of planks, like this. Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. If I do this, maybe? Nope, still nothing. Alright, the only thing we've got left, give me those planks before you waste them all. We've got to move all of this a one block upwards. So let's do that. And in the planks go. And this is doing nothing. Let's just check, make sure it doesn't need redstone. Nope. Okay, so both plan A and plan B didn't work, which means I am very stupid. And I'm going to go into my single player world and see what I did there, because clearly I'm doing it wrong somehow. Okay, so I am and both am not stupid. Uh, I don't even remember why I put the collector crystal there, to be completely honest. It might be doing something, it might just be for aesthetics, but all I know is that this world keeps cutting me down to zero frames and I need to leave now. Okay, so, after having checked back in my single player world and restarted my game, because, well, I mean, it just can't handle that for some reason. Can't possibly imagine why. I discovered that I did have the correct piece of equipment, I just wasn't using it in the right way, so I need to find the wrench for these things. I think I put it in one of my backpacks. This is a brilliant way to farm these, uh, what are they called? Phantom membranes. Just stay awake, wait for them to try and attack you, and then just completely ruin their entire lives with a single swipe of your hand. Anyway, now I've got the wrench. I should be able to change this thing's direction, right? That, that's, that's how it works? No? Oh? Uh... Then what is the point of you? Okay, I guess I'm doing it this way. Right then, so with it facing the correct way now, all I've got to do, we drop the combustion generator behind it, we throw in something to be combusted, and then we throw in the aquamarine. And then maybe we change the tick delay? Like make it a, a five second tick delay? There we, is, is that gonna... Is that gonna do it? Is is that gonna work? It 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 should be. Oh, if I set it to requires redstone, it works. There we go. And as you can see, I mean, it came on already. But if we check the liquid starlight, it went up to sixteen thousand nine hundred and ten millibuckets from what I believe was fifteen thousand to start with. So if we just, once again, proof of concept, grab ourselves one of these aquamarine just to make sure it wasn't a fluke, and drop it in up here, and then bam. That did nothing, but I think, it, yeah, we're out of power. So if I just throw in something else that can be combusted, like another stack of oak planks. <laughs> yep, there we go. Lovely, and that should turn it up to 17,000. There we go. So, we have the basic design for this system. All we've got to do now is... Well, there's a lot of things we've got to do now, but the one that I want to look into is solar panels. You saw on the one I made in single player that I used solar panels to power this thing, which means, yes, it's not going to be active during the night, but it also means I'm not going to have to constantly feed it coal, which, again, we could do since we do basically have an infinite amount of EMC generators, but I don't want to overly rely on that, especially for this series, so I'm going to look into grabbing us some solar panels. Now, the Tier 1 solar panel from Solar Flux Reborn is mirrors, iron ingots, and lapis, or we can use uh, planks, redstone, and mirrors. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with this one just because it seems cheaper, I guess? 
I mean, it's obviously not, but for some reason I feel better about this recipe than I do this one. Could just be me being autistic, but hey-ho, there you go. And the mirrors are a lot cheaper than I expected them to be. I saw the recipe for mirrors for a different mod. I thought it was this one for a second. I got really worried because the other one required the use of netherite. But this looks to be fine. It, it just looks to be any type of ingot with any type of glass over the top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and grab some tier 1 solar panels and then I'm going to look into upgrading them to the tier 2, then maybe the tier 3, uh, and then maybe the tier 4, and just keep working up until I basically can't anymore. But from the looks of it, the tier 5 solar panel is still really affordable. Uh, yeah, very affordable. I think I might just do that. Okay, now we're getting more expensive. And that's where we're stopping. Okay, we can't make a... I think that's a 7, that's 6, that's 7. We can't make tier 7. We don't have Dragon's Breath. But that doesn't mean we can't make a tier 6. Let's go make a ton of tier 6. Okay, so to make the tier 1 solar panel, all we needed was iron, lapis, and mirrors. Now, we didn't have the lapis block, but we do have loose lapis. No, we don't. Can we craft lapis? Not with anything we've got. Okay, step one is to uh, change the recipe we use to this one down here. All we need for this one are mirrors, and we can get mirrors very easily. All we need is some glass, which I'm pretty sure we have lying around somewhere, although I could be misremembering that one. We have two quartz glass up here, but I thought we just had regular glass somewhere. I Did I use it all? That can't be right, right? There we go, we had 60 glass in our backpack. I knew I hadn't used it all. Okay, there we go, let's just grab a ton of these mirrors, because we, we we don't really know how many we're gonna need. Why did it use netherite? Why did it pick netherite? I just noticed, I thought that was steel, why would it... Why would it autocomplete with netherite? Oh my god, why the hell did it autocomplete with netherite? Oh, I can feel the hole that just burned in my pocket. Oh my god. Okay, in the future, in the future, in the future, we're gonna check what it decides to make out of. There we go, we now have eight tier one solar panels. So, the next step is to upgrade them to a tier two, which, from the looks of it, only requires a piston. So if we just, why did that not autocomplete properly? Okay, uh, planks, let's just do that. There we go, give us the piston. We can then clear that part out and we can grab ourselves the tier two, just like so. And from the looks of it, we actually made the exact amount we needed, which is very nice. Now tier three requires four of these along with photovoltaic voltaic photovoltaic cells uh which is lapis glass and default mirrors so we need to make some more of m those mirrors and we also need to dupe ourselves a couple more of the tier ones uh i mean the tier two sorry we have the repeater already right then let's go dupe the solar panels and then let's go make some photovoltaic cells it uses brick Hang on, it uses brick. It could use anything. It didn't even have to be an ingot. And it could... It, it, it chose... Mm. <laughs> okay, so we actually do need lapis to make photovoltaic cells. So I'm going to have to go look for some of this now. And from the looks of it, we just have four sitting in our backpack right here. Which is very, very tasty. And I had just enough there for one. We ran out of glass. There we go, this is the best way to do it, I think. Just uh, stick it in the golden furnace, give it the dark matter pedestal, power it with lava. Most efficient that you can get, I say, sweeping every other possible method of efficiency under the rug. Okay, and with our new stack of glass, we can actually make some more of these photovoltaic cells. We have just enough for 11 of them. What did we run out of? Mirrors! We ran out of mirrors! Let's make more mirrors, guys. No! No! No, 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 no. No. Yes! Much better. There we go, we got 15 now, and we still have enough to make more in the future, or we need us some more regular mirrors. So, with all of that together, we can now make ourselves two solar panel tier 3s. Very nice. Let's see if we can make any more. We're missing the redstone repeater. Let's see if we can make some more of those. 
we have enough for one, which gives us uh, two more of those. Right then, so onto the tier four now, all we need is, well, we have the four solar panels we need. Uh, a block of iron, a clock, and photovoltaic cells tier two, which requires clay, lapis, and more mirrors. So, stop wanting to spend netherite. We have so much more stuff you could use. We don't have as much stuff as I thought we did. Whoops. Uh, let's probably fix that. Oh, of course the power runs out. All right, so give me those. Good, and we run out of glass again, but we have the one that we can... Uh, keep EMCing, so let's just throw those up there for now, save some space. That gives us our tier 2 cells, all we've got to do is this, this, and this. Bish bash bosh, very lovely. Uh, do we have enough for another mirror? Uh, yeah, no, we ran out of glass. Okay, let's go make some more glass. I just realized we don't need glass, we can just EMC the cells. Hold on a second. And now all we're missing is a clock, which requires gold. Which, we need more gold. Ah! And with the clock, we can now make ourselves two solar panel tier 4s. So let's grab that now. So to upgrade to the tier 5, we need four solar panel tier 4s, a block of gold, some glowstone, and some photovoltaic cells tier 3. So, let's go... Let's go do that. And with that, we can make ourselves the photovoltaic take cells uh, version three part three electric boogaloo etc etc and now that we have that we can go and go and get more and with that we can make ourselves two solar panel fives so to upgrade from solar panel five to six we now need photovoltaic cells level four Five, four level five solar panels, a block of diamond, and a redstone lamp. So, for level four photovoltaic cells, we need... What in the name of Jesus Christ is that? Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. We just need some quartz. Yeah. And some blaze powder. Okay, now we've just got to find some blazes. Should be easy enough. I heard a blaze. Yes, we found a blaze spawner. Let's go. That dropped nothing, didn't it? Okay. Oh, yay, blaze rods, finally. Okay, so with blaze rods, I can make blaze powder, and since this has an EMC value, I can go home. But before I do that, I am actually just going to make a note of uh, this place on the map. Uh, add waypoint, blaze spawner. There we go. I forget these things can punch you. Right then, home time. I've just got to travel 1,000 blocks. Okay, and after that long journey through the nether, we now have eight blaze powder. So, we can use that to make blaze, uh, blazing coating, which we only need one of. We can save the rest of the blaze powder, uh, or at least we could if we had space in the computer. So, you know, we're just going to save it in our backpacks. And then we're going to go and duplicate the blazing, co blazing coating. For some reason, I want to call it the Blazing Coater, when that's just not what it is. Yeah, that's it. Give us 64 of those. And now we can go back to the computer and we can make ourselves, I believe it's the tier... What are we working on now? The tier 6 solar panel. Yeah, tier 6. Okay, never mind. We now need some glowstone dust, which I got rid of, and some quartz. So... I believe we have both of these in surplus, they're just not in the computer. I'm gonna go grab those now. Okay, we didn't have them in surplus, but we did just have them, period. So we can make ourselves uh, a single photovoltaic uh, cell tier 4, with which we are able to go over to the condensers and make our lives infinitely easier. So clear out that space there, go back in here. All we need now is the block of diamond and the redstone lamp. Redstone lamp is simple enough. We've just got to make a block of glowstone. 
I thought we might have had more than that. Uh oh. What just exploded? Where did the explosion happen? Why did it happen? I heard that. That was nearby. Ah. Uh. I'm just praying it's not going to be in one of my farms. Okay, that's the redstone lamp. All we need now is the block of diamond. I wonder where we could possibly find even a single block of diamond. Oh, for God's sake, did we forget to dupe the solar panel tier fives? Oh, okay. And with a one, a two, and a three, and with the four already secure, we now have two solar panel tier sixes. Okay, so looking at it for the solar panel tier 7, this is the one we couldn't do because it required dragon's breath and because of law reasons, we haven't been to the to the end yet. We haven't gone to the end, we haven't killed the dragon, we haven't bottled its breath. There is a way of doing it apparently through nature's aura using bottled darkness, a transmutation catalyst, and a crimson altar. Uh but I ain't touching that with a 10-foot pole. The next step up from that uh, would be the vibranium solar panel. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're equal in terms of capacity. So, I mean, if we had more vibranium, we could probably do it with that. And then we have the solar panel tier 9, and then the solar panel unobtainium, which I believe, looking at it, are the exact same rank. So, now that we have the highest tier of solar panel that we can get, it's time to go and make a ton of them. Admittedly, I, I don't feel like complaining as much about the process of making all of those, simply because it was just tedious. It wasn't hard. But luckily, all my sexy viewers at home get to skip the annoying, tedious parts, because... I mean, I'm here to do it for you. Before we go, I am just going to quickly swap out the devouring generator, however, for one of these solar panels, because Jesus Christ. Uh, yep, permanently powered, as all things should be. Absolutely brilliant. Just remind me that in the next episode of Anadonia, I have got to actually explain where that came from, because if I forget, people will throw a hissy fit, because they'll think I am a le cheating. So, now all we've got to do is we've got to dupe ourselves the item user, because... I mean, quite obviously, it was not the block placer that we needed. Before all of that, though, I need to find a chest to dump all of my stuff in, because, dear God, my inventory is getting full. There we are, that should be enough of them. I decided not to empty out my inventory. I got too lazy to find a chest. Ignore those. So, let's put one there, put one there, put one there. Then put one there, there, and there. Then all we have to do is put one there, and put one there. And now we can do ba, 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 ba. Right then, so obviously this isn't the most efficient way of doing it. If I wanted to be efficient, I would simply run power cables from the singular solar panel into uh, all of these uh, using cable. Um, but I'm not going to do that because do I look like a brokey to you? I said, do I look like a brokey to you, yeah, fam? Nah, I don't think, I don't think so, fam. Nah, I don't think so. Nah. Right then, so now that we have the actual system set up, all I've got to do is come around and adjust these down to the same settings. So let's set that one to 5. Requires redstone. But you know what? No, turn that off. We don't need redstone. Yeah, so set it to 5. Doesn't require redstone. So, with that out of the way, on to step 3. I have just realized that uh, because of the current setup, I don't have anything feeding into the center one. I could just place one of these next to one of these and have it work that way, but the unsymmetricity of it all, don't check if that's a word, but the unsymmetricity of it all would annoy me. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make the machine less efficient by removing this, and instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to put the condenser there, uh, but that comes in step 4? 3? 3.5? I don't know, just trust the process. So, as I mentioned, we're on step 3 now, which requires the use of the item cables that we collected earlier. These things right here. So, what we've got to do now is, if we put the item users up here, we have got to connect every single one of these item users from the back, like that. So, next step is, let's make this bit nice and fancy looking and symmetrical. Let's go up, let's go up again, and then let's deconnect this from the solar panel, because we don't really want anything going into the solar panel. There we go, and that should cut that off. Bam, 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 bam. Now the next step, now that we've got all of these cables set up, is to kill... 
these things because they don't seem to understand the meaning of leave me alone. Where did you go? And my flying ring just ran out of power. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need already with me in my backpack, so I don't have to go anywhere. I do not have everything I need already with me in my backpacks. I have to go somewhere. God. Okay, after all of those interruptions, I genuinely don't remember where I was, so I'm just going to move on to the next thing that I know I need to do, which is I need to grab myself a spare condenser, which is all the way back at Guy's View, which is where I just was because I was charging my Klein Star. I am going to start crying violently. There we go. Found them. 13 spare ones. I forgot how many Ruby made, dear God. And they're only a level one, but I'm going to grab a energy collector anyway, because admittedly the level doesn't really mean anything at all when it's being powered by a ton of watches of flowing time. I know I could use that one over there, and like I and I have throughout today's episode, uh, but it's full of stuff, and if I break it, that stuff's going to go everywhere, and I really just don't want to deal with the cleanup. So that's why I'm not. Okay, so first things first, place the energy collector right there, and then we need to disconnect it from the power grid, although it doesn't appear to have connected at all, which is PogChamp for us. So next step is to grab some item cables. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to go from the sides for this one like this. So if I just do this, this might backfire spectacularly and take the watches, so I've got to be quick. It's got to be very quick. It's got to be impossibly quick. And now that we've done that, we've got to put the watches back on the pedestal. Zuh. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the energy collector and we're going to place it on top like that. There we go. That thing's filling up very fast to say it's only a tier one. We could steal a tier three and I might off camera after I'm done just because right now I just want to get this thing set up and finished. Uh, but for now, this is fine on its own. Next step, we've got to raise the item cables once again and then we've got to disconnect it from the energy collector. I like the noise it makes. Do do. Do do. There we go. Uh, and then we raise it once again, and then up, 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 and up. Okay, so, sending it to the flat one sucks things out to put in. So, all I've got to do now is do da, 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 and da. And then the final step of this should be, if I just grab, do I have an extra aquamarine? I know I have one in my backpack. If I just grab an aquamarine right there, drop that into the condenser at the top, that should now start placing them into the item users. Right? It should be. But I don't see it doing that. Okay, where is it going? Because it's not staying in the condenser. That much is obvious. So where is it going? Wh where is it being siphoned to? I, I don't understand. Is it stuck in some sort of system loop? What issue is happening here? It's not that it's not placing, and it's not that it's not generating. It's just not appearing. Where? Where? Why? Okay, you know what? No, let's cut off all other options. Now they should only be able to go to one place, and that's in here. So the fact that it is going anywhere else is impossible. Wait, hang on. I just got a ton of aquamarine back. It was in this pipe. Why was it stuck in this pipe? There's nothing in here. I've got all of the aquamarine now. What? What? That's weird. That's really weird. So if I get rid of this one, is more just going to magically appear? It's stuck. It was stuck in the output. How was it stuck in the output? Oh, go away. So if I check this one, is it going to be stuck in there as well? Is, it gonna, is there going to be some stuck in this pipe too? Yeah, there was. Okay. Let's try this a different way then. Okay, so having it set to always... Oh... I read that wrong. It's not that it requires redstone to work, it's that if it's off, then it will only work if there is a redstone pulse. Okay, so that one is now working. This one 
is doing its job. Now all I've got to do is separate this here. And uh, I'm going to have to do it this way. Like this. And then separate like that. So now that should still be being evacuated into here. But it's not. And I don't know why. There is a fundamental issue about this being evacuated. I think it's that it's stuck in the pipe somewhere. We need to redesign this. This needs a redesign. It needs a rework, because of course it does. Why can nothing ever be this simple? Okay. New plan, we're gonna raise all of this. Raise as in lift it up, not raise as in destroy it. Um, although we are gonna have to break it to do that, so, you know. Shut up. Oh, and we're crashing. Great, I love, I love it when that happens, especially when I'm already dealing with a glitch. Great, oh, I've got to restart the entire client. Okay, yay. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, the server's back after crashing, and um, it looks like after the server crashed, the pipe started working. Some goddamn reason. I, I'm, I'm being tested. I'm trying so hard not to swear. But since the pipes are now working, that, 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 that set everything up, guys. Yay! Okay, so I've set these three up now. So technically, yeah, we've got Aquamarine. All I have to do now, click always on, and it should start pumping these into the starlight basins, just like so. Although, from the looks of it, it's still not... Still not transferring properly. They're, they're not receiving... Stuff. Okay. You know what, let's just set this next one up. And that is... Claw number two, or I guess three if you include that one. And Bosch. And these still aren't receiving... Uh, stuff. Which is... Boding well. So this one is working. It's not being drained, but actually it is, but um, the, the tank is full now, which to say it's an ultimate tank is uh, quite impressive. Uh, so for the most part, the machine is functioning. Um, it's not receiving any new aquamarine on this side. This one is working. I don't know what's... well, it was working. I don't know what's different. Um, but there we go. It's partially functional. Uh, since the machine is actually set up correctly and it's just not working for some, some, some unknown reason, I'm gonna call today's episode here and after I'm done at work, because I've literally run out of time, I had five hours to film this, and I've run out of time, I'm gonna fix it off camera. So in the next episode, we will be ready to fill our Starlight Gutters. Giggity. So yeah. If you did like today's video, uh, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe down below to notify me that you enjoy my content and that you want to keep watching, and because it makes me feel good. How is that for being parasocial, guys? Uh, but yeah, in case I don't see you, uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. Love you guys. Peace!